Hello, my name is Eric Solonsky. This is the first video tutorial in a series geared towards helping students enroll in the Freie Universität's Green Lab Graduate Computer Science course. Our goal is to help you understand what Android Runner is, why it exists, the tools it provides, and how to use it to run your own experiments. We'll start with a high-level overview of the framework in this video, and then in future videos we'll dive deeper into the tools and other functionality of the framework and then conclude with a real experiment using one of the framework's profilers. So first, let's discuss some of the important terms and concepts at a high level. When we use applications, these applications use the hardware in varying degrees. In terms of mobile applications, this means either applications that are run in the browser or applications that you would install directly from the Google Play Store or via ADB. And of course there's no such thing as limitless battery or space on the hardware. Constraints do exist, like on the battery, the CPU, memory, and other hardware components. The main purpose of a profiler is to capture how much of this hardware is consumed while an application runs. The data from these profilers is useful for a couple of different reasons. We want to make sure that Android devices and their applications meet user expectations out in the real world. Maybe you want to confirm that your application drains less battery compared to your competitor's application, for instance. And we also want to increase our understanding of general best practices and find better algorithms and find other information to hopefully save resources on the device. Profilers are an important tool that the industry uses to zero in on areas in need of improvement. They record or estimate resource consumption from the device while an application is run. And they come in a couple of different flavors, such as hardware, software, and mathematical models. An example of a software profiler is called Trepin. You would first need to install it on the device, and then it needs to be run in parallel with the application under test. An example of a hardware profiler is Monsoon, is the Monsoon Power Monitor. Here's an example of my own development environment when I did my own thesis project. We have the development machine here in the bottom, an Android device which is connected to the Monsoon Power Monitor which provides power directly to the device and also provides measurements. Another useful tool is called Android Debug Bridge. It facilitates data transfer and communication between a development machine such as your laptop and a device through a USB cable or over Wi-Fi. This data could be raw profiler related data, could be system logs, application logs, and it also can be commands sent directly from the host machine to the device such as installing a particular application, running an application, uninstalling an application, or pulling a file from the device. And it also works with both emulators and physical devices. Now, circling back to Android Runner, a few key things to know about it. It's open source. It's hosted here on GitHub. It's a Python-based framework and it uses ADB, several different profilers, and other tools to help orchestrate experiments from your development machine. It's a few years old and it has gotten more robust over the years with the help of several bachelors, masters, and PhD students who've added plugins and features, testing capabilities, and other helpful tools. It's also been used in several published research papers. And who knows, maybe you'll make your own mark on it or get your own paper published. In the framework, profilers are integrated through a plugin architecture and more can be added if necessary. And currently there are six plugins. The framework has a focus on convenience for the end users and for producing empirical experiments. And it's also meant to be used kind of like as a black box with the inner working abstracted away, such as the error handling, logging, 
profiler output aggregation, ADB commands, and other functionality. It allows for customizable experiments of applications with different profilers and different Android models. Typically, it's used to make application to application comparisons, comparisons between different devices, and comparisons between profilers. To get started, first visit this repository on GitHub. Scroll down in the README and click on this link in the Setting Up Environment Installation and Dependencies section. And here you'll find detailed information on setting up your own fork and installing the right dependencies. In the next video, I will discuss Android Debug Bridge in greater detail, along with instructions on how to use it, and I'll also illustrate some common use cases.